Hello and welcome to another reading from the book Our Wahai Calling, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled One Great Brotherhood, June 14th. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, he soldiers of the cross. Lift high his royal banner, it must not suffer loss. From victory on to victory, his army shall he lead till every foe is vanquished and Christ is Lord indeed. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. 1 Corinthians 1.10 We have one Lord, one faith, one baptism. The gospel of Christ is to reach all classes, all nations, all tongues and people. The influence of the gospel is to unite in one great brotherhood. We have only one model that we are to imitate in character building and then we all shall have Christ's mold. We shall be in perfect harmony. Nationalities will blend in Jesus Christ, having the same mind and the same judgment, speaking the same things, and with one mouth glorifying God. This is the work the world's Redeemer is to do for us. If we accept the truth as it is in Jesus, national prejudices and jealousies will be broken down and the spirit of truth will blend hearts in one. We will love as brethren. We will esteem others better than ourselves. We will be kind and courteous, meek and lowly, easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits. God knows just how to meet the peculiarities of different nationalities. The third angel's message is to unite the people to do a special work, preparing them with perfection of character to unite in one great family in the mansions Christ has gone to prepare for those who love him. The truth is all-powerful and far-reaching. It will unite nationalities in one great brotherhood. Christ in men unites them on one grand platform, preparing for the uniting in one family in heaven. It is the truth that makes men one and removes national prejudice. The truth will have the same molding influence upon hearts whatever the nationalities. Every human heart that accepts the truth will bow to the majesty of its sway. And when Christ is abiding in the heart by faith, they will be of one mind, for Christ is not divided. They will be strong in his strength happy and united in his peace. The truth is the same in its subduing power upon all hearts. It will refine and ennoble the heart of the receiver. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, the trumpet call obey. Forth to the mighty conflict in this his glorious day. Ye 
that a man now serve him against unnumbered foes. Let courage rise with danger and strength to strength oppose. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God bless you.